This is me, Luana Vlogs. My life, my all. Life is full of adventures. It may be grand or simple, but life is all we've got. This channel, This is me, Luana, features a weekly upload of my life and my all. If you feel bored and you think you can't have enough of your day, then just search me and I will complete you. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and this is me, Luana. For my video for today, guys, because this is my vlog about my new hobby. Yes, that's something called hobby. And for today, we have a sketch of playing badminton. I am going to watch this video in full. And please don't forget to subscribe and please ring the bell so you will be notified for my future uploads. So, but yes, that's why I'm going to have a healthy lifestyle by playing badminton. Enjoy. Badminton is a racket sport played using rockets to hit a shuttlecock across the net. Although it may be played with larger teams, uh, the most common form of the game are singles uh, with one player per side and doubles with two players per side. Now because we are so <laughs> tepid and we are maximizing our time, here in Sports Zone, we pay 220 pesos for an hour of game. So, um, our team, the Wave Smashers, we are actually a group of office mates and um, families. We play badminton here just for fun and of course because we wanted to have a healthy lifestyle. So we bring uh, people, our, our, our friends um, from different offices to join us and play here. So we play in doubles no? to maximize our time. Badminton is often played as a casual outdoor activity in a yard before no? on a beach. Um, these formal games are also played on a rectangular indoor course now here at Sports Zone. So, we have a scorer, so points are scored by striking the shuttle cup with a racket and landing it within the opposing side's half of the court. So, each side may only strike the shuttle cup once before it passes over the net. Play ends once the shuttle cup has struck the floor or if a fault has been called by the umpire. Well, um, since uh, we are just having a, uh, you know, yung tayo tayo lalaro ba? So, we just have a service judge or our scorer uh, in the absence of the umpire. So, well, to continue, the shuttlecock is a feathered or in, in informal matches, it is a plastic projectile which flies differently from the balls used in many other sports. So this in particular, the one we are using is uh, the feathers create much higher drag. So causing the shuttlecock to decelerate more rapidly. Especially, lalo yung mga kalaban namin o yung mga kasama ng ang, ang lakas ng tira nila. So shuttlecocks also have a high top speed compared to the balls and other racket sports. Tingnan nyo nga yung flight ng shuttlecock. It gives the spot its distinctive nature. So, we will just, you know, I'm just going to give you a little background or the history of this sport which I, I know that I'm still not master. But as per Google and Wikipedia, this game was developed in British India from the earlier game of Battle Door and Shuttlecock. So, European play came to be dominated by Denmark, but the game has become very popular in Asia, with the recent competitions dominated by China. So, since 1992, the badminton has been a summer Olympic sport with four events. So, men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, and women's doubles with also with mixed doubles added four years later so at high levels of, of you know the play the sport demands excellent fitness so kailangan talaga no the players require aerobic stamina yan ano ba yung aerobic stamina 
It's a process whereby the heart and lungs are trained to pump blood more efficiently, so allowing more oxygen to be delivered to muscles and organs. Uh, this aerobic conditioning, this is the use of continuous rhythmic movement of large muscle groups to strengthen the heart and the lungs. Yan. Yun ang mga kailangan natin. So, next is, uh, we speak first with aerobic stamina or conditioning. Next, we need to have agility. So, agility, uh, yung nimbleness. It's an ability to change the body's position. Tinan niyo yung mga players, ha? Efficiently and requires the integration of isolated movement skills using a combination of balance, coordination, speed, reflexes, strength, and endurance. So, more specifically, it is dependent on balance. So, tingnan mo nga, eh, ma-maintain yung equilibrium with stationary or moving, and then the ability to retain the center of mass above the base of support, and of course, the ability to maintain balance with body movement. Para hindi ka and of course, uh, one thing is important is the speed, no? the ability to move all of parts of your body quickly, and your strength to overcome a resistance. And lastly, yung coordination mo, the ability to control the movement of the body in cooperation with the body's sensory. Like, uh, yung pag tira mo, pag catch mo ng shuttle cap, na kailangan i I drop mo doon sa kabila or doon sa opposition. I'm sharing you now a one hour video. So these are the sets that we had uh, during our play. The first team is composed of uh, Giant, we have Cassandra, Ems, and Mariah. So as you can see, we are just having fun and is a good player. She's been playing ever since in elementary. So the one speaking the shuttle. And Mom Ami also in pink. She's also a good player. Well, Jayet is a very good player. Well, when she smashed the shuttle cap, it really landed on your face. So now to give you the history. While you are watching this game, I'm going to read to you the history of badminton. So, ready? This game was employing uh, shuttlecocks, no? Had been played for centuries across Eurasia. But the modern game of badminton is developed in the mid-19th century among the expatriate officers, expatriate officers <laughs> of British India as a variant of the earlier game of battle door and shuttlecock. Well, battle door was an older term for racket. Its exact origin remains obscure. The name derives from the Duke of Beaufort's badminton house in Gloucestershire. Oh, ang hirap na ba? Ba't naglaro pa ako? Mahirap din pala ba sa akin? But why or when remains unclear? So, as early as 1860, a London toy dealer named Isaac Sprott published a booklet entitled Badminton Battle Door, a new game, but no copy is known to have survived. Bakit So, an 1863 article in the Cornhill magazine describes badminton as battle door and shuttlecock played with sides across a string suspended some five feet from the ground. So, yung net. Ano yan eh, 5 feet from the ground. So the game originally developed in India among the British expatriates, where it was very popular by the 1870s. Um, yung tinatawag natin na ball badminton, this is a form of the game played with a wool ball instead of a shuttlecock. Yun yung history nito ha. That was being played in Thanjavur as early as the 1850s and was at first played interchangeably with badminton by the British, the woolen ball being preferred in windy or wet weather. So early on, the game was also known as Puna or Puna after the garrison town of Puna, where it was particularly popular and where the first rules for the game were drawn up in 1873. 
By 1875, the officers returning home had started a badminton club in Foxtone. So initially, the sport was played with sides ranging from one to four players. But it was quickly established that games between two or four competitors worked the best. The shallow cocks were coated with India rubber and in outer play, sometimes weighted with lead. Although the depth of the net was of no consequence, it was preferred that it should reach the ground. The sport was played under the Poon rules until 1887. So when J.H.E. Hart of the Bath Badminton Club drew up revised regulations, in 1890, Hart and Bagnell Wild again revised the rules. So the Badminton Association of England, that's the BEE, published these rules in 1893 and officially launched the sport at a house called Dunbar in Portsmouth on September 13. The BEE started the first badminton competition, the All England Open Badminton Championships, for gentlemen's doubles. Uh, ladies doubles and mixed doubles in 1899. So singles competitions were added in 1900. So ano palato no? Dati palat And an England Ireland Championship match appeared in 1904. The game also became popular backyard sport in the United States. So I will be reading here some rules. No? This information is a simplified summary of badminton rules based on the BWF's statute publication of the laws of badminton. The laws of badminton in the uh, Badminton World Federation archive from the original on January 8, 2017. And it was retrieved um, later on August 29, 2010. So the court, as you can see, it is a rectangular and divided into halves by a net. The courts also uh, usually mark for both singles and doubles play. As you can see, the parang double lines. Although badminton rules permit a court to be marked for singles only. The doubles court is wider than the singles court, so both are of the same length. The exception, which often causes confusion to newer players like me, is that the doubles court has a shorter serve length dimension. The full width of the court is 6.1 meters, that's 20 feet, and in singles, this width is reduced to 5.18 meters, 17 feet. The full length of the court is 13.4 meters, 44 feet. The service courts, yeah, no, the service courts are marked by a center line dividing the width of the court by a short service line at a distance of 1.98 meters, exactly 6 feet and 6 inches from the net, and by the outer side and back boundaries. So sa doubles naman, the service court is also marked by a long service line, which is 0.76 meters, an exact of 2 feet and 6 inches from the back boundary. Yung net is 1.55 meters high at the edges and 5 feet high in the center. Well, the first set is done and we are waiting for the second team. Well, of course, I'm there in the second set. <laughs> You're gonna watch me play? I'm just a newbie in badminton. So... It would be like a game of chance for me. And at the same time, I'm going to sweat it, sweat everything out, no? I've eaten a lot of carbo earlier this morning, so I need to sweat myself. So the second set would compose of teams. Um, the male guy is William. That's please also support his channel, William X. And that's me, the big fat lady. 
and of course I'll be playing with my opposing team this is so funny you know, when playing badminton you gotta learn the moves the moves of the badminton it's so funny so while waiting for the the set to begin I think oh uh, yeah that's the first serve serve by the opposing team the opposing team is uh, composed of Ems and Cheryl and me and my husband William we are the other team so to continue on with the serving of badminton when the server serves see you know when the server serves, the shuttlecock must pass over the short service line on the opponent's court or it will count as a fault. The server and receiver must re remain within their service courts without touching the boundary lines until the server strikes the shuttlecock. The other two players may stand wherever they wish so long as they do not block the vision of the server or the receiver. At the start of the rally, the server and receiver stand in diagonally opposite service courts. What do you mean by court service court uh, dimensions? The full width of the court is, you know, as mentioned earlier. Then the server, after the the server hits the shuttlecock so that it would land in the receiver's service court. So this is similar to tennis. So if you are um, also fond of playing tennis, except that in a badminton serve, the whole shuttle must be below 1.15 meters from the surface of the court at the instant of being hit by the server's rocket, the shuttlecock is not allowed to bounce and in badminton, the players stand inside their service courts unlike tennis. When the serving side loses a rally, the server immediately passes to their opponents. So this differs from the old system where sometimes the serve passes to the doubles partner for what is known as a second serve. In singles, the server stands in the right service court when their score is even and in their left service court when the score is odd. That's why if you have observed that we change uh, courts whenever there's a change of the score. So pag ang score is even, you stay on the right. So and when I serve, I'm sure the score is odd because I'm on my left court. Here in doubles, if the serving side wins a rally, the same player continues to serve, but uh, he or she changes service court so that they can serve to a different opponent each time. If the opponents win the rally and their new score is even, the player in the right service court serves. If odd, the player in the left service court serves. The player service courts are determined by their positions at the start of the previous rally, not by where they were standing at the end of the rally. So a consequence of this system is that each time a side regains a service, the server will be the player who did not serve last time. Now with scoring. Uh, this was taken from the main article, Scoring System Development of Badminton. So each game is played to 21 points, with players scoring a point whenever they win a rally regardless of whether they serve. A match is the best of three games. If the score ties at 2020, then the game continues until one side gains a two-point lead such as 24-22. Except when there is a tie at 29-29 in which the game goes to a golden point of 30. Whoever scores this point wins the game. 
At the start of a match, the shuttlecock is cast and the, and the side towards which the shuttlecock is pointing serves first. Alternatively, a coin may be tossed with the winners choosing whether to serve or receive first or choosing which end at the court to occupy first and their opponents making the left over the remaining choice. In subsequent games, the winners of the previous game serves first. Matches are best out of three. A player or pair must win two games of 21 points each to win the match. For the first rally of any double games, the serving pair may decide who serves and the receiving pair may decide who receives. The players uh, change ends at the start of the second game. If the match reaches a third game, they change ends both at the start of the game and when the leading players or pairs score reaches 11 points. Badminton rules restrict the design and size of the rockets and shuttlecocks. Badminton rockets are lightweight, with top quality rockets weighing 70 and 95 grams, not including grip or strings. They are composed of many different materials ranging from carbon fiber composite to solid steel which may be augmented by a variety of materials. Carbon fiber has an excellent strength to weight ratio, is stiff and gives excellent kinetic energy transfer. Before the adoption of carbon fiber composite, rockets were made of light metal such as aluminum. Earlier, steel rockets were made of wood. Cheap rockets are still often made of metal such as steel, but wooden rockets are no longer manufactured for the ordinary market because of their excessive mass and cost. Nowadays, nanomaterials such as carbon nanotubes and fullerene are added to rockets, giving them greater durability. There's a wide variety of rocket designs, although the laws limit the rocket size and shape. Different rockets have playing characteristics that appeal to different players. So the traditional oval head shape is still available, but an isometric head shape is increasingly common in new rockets. Okay, just enjoy my game!
Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell so you will be notified for my future upload. God bless everyone. Bye!